I want to welcome Agile XRM to the podcast. I've known the people at Agile XRM for the past 12 years. I've seen how their business process management tool can add massive value to complex organizational processes in sectors such as finance and government. If you have complex processes or a need for dialogues on the Power Platform or Dynamics 365, take a look at how this BPM tool can add value. You can find them at agilexrm.com or check out the show notes for more details. Welcome to the MVP Show. My intention is that you listen to the stories of these MVP guests and are inspired to become an MVP and bring value to the world through your skills. If you have not checked it out already, I do a YouTube series called How to Become an MVP. The link is in the show notes. With that, let's get on with the show. Today's guest is from India. She works as the Head of Learning and Development at Atnia Technologies. She was first awarded her MVP in 2022. This is amazing. She has more than 11 years of experience as a trainer and a professor in both academic and industry. And how's this? Over 30 articles, closer to 40 articles published, um, as well as authored three books. You can find links to her bio and socials, etc., in the show notes for this episode. Uh, welcome to the show, Dr. Gamati. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for the brief introduction. Thank you for coming on the show. Um, first of all, India is a big place. Tell me about where you live in India. Tell us a bit about your family, uh, what the best food in your region is to eat, and what do you do when you're not working? Okay, so I am from India. I'm from Coimbatore. Uh, I'm currently living in Coimbatore. Um, I have between kids. I, my husband is working as a financial analyst, and uh, yes, this is what a small family we are. <laughs> so the my twin kids both are boys, so they are very naughty, and uh, <laughs> it's actually they are the the uh, thriving boost and energy for me because you know we have to be with them always, and uh, we don't know exactly like what time we can sleep. So always I'll be you know uh, I'll be finding the time to uh, learn, read dedicate something to the community so this is how it goes and uh, yes so uh, here as you asked like here is the favorite food is with dosa and idli because this is a completely south indian even i like it very much that's how it goes yeah <laughs> and my husband is a, a big moral support for my career um, uh, my achievements and everything because of course yeah, yeah, I, instead like if he is not supporting i cannot do anything more and yeah also my ma- mother-in-law and father-in-law they're also with me so they will be taking care if i'm in any uh, any meeting so they'll take care of my kids as well so they are also and of course like even in my uh i'm so blessed you know like uh, uh both in official and also on the personal i have a lot and lot of people to support me and to just always push me up to do something <laughs> so that is how it goes so good so good now you're a microsoft certified trainer as well is that right yes so so how tell me what was your journey into technology how did it all start for you why did you choose a career that evolved around technology and not something else uh yeah so initially like uh, i like uh, to teach okay teaching is my passion i found that when i was in mca when i was doing my mca so i started looking towards i i thought like okay, okay only professor uh, or like only teachers or professors can teach during that time no i don't know like about tired trainers or uh, who can train the technique because i'm from a very village from village i was whatever so that is how it goes and uh, i started my career as a professor and I uh, I was very urged to know something because, you know, um, uh, in, prof- in like in college, you know, they'll be implementing some new technology, new concepts, new, new units every every year. So they'll be implementing something. So we have to always uh, learn something new. So uh, my husband was supposed to uh, transfer, like uh, he got a transfer to Chennai. That time I was searching for uh, uh, same like on a college, but I got a job as a trainer in an IT company like HTZ uh, Global Services in Chennai. So that time only I came to know okay we have also a trainer is also to teach something. <laughs> so I uh, there I started to learn Hadoop and all the technologies like it's a it's a like I cannot uh, as a trainer I cannot just switch on to a single technology. So I have to learn a lot and lot of things. Whatever is coming up I have to be very updated. 
So uh, I started completely into data analytics. Meanwhile, I was doing uh, a PhD as well when I was in HTZ. So I thought like we can implement the PhD, uh, like I was doing a cross functionality like uh, medicine. I was uh, trying to predict a uh, systemic lupus erythematosus disease through my machine learning concept. So I thought of, okay, we can implement big data also in my PhD and we can also implement machine learning in my PhD and started uh, working around it and it, it was very awesome. So I was addicted to that particular technology. <laughs> so that is how it goes. And when I come back here again, we, uh, we were supposed to come back to Kaimathur. So I was even my uh, as a mother, no, I have to also look uh, look into my kids because it's twins, right? So I wanted to learn and also I want to take care. So what I'll do night time, I will learn and morning I'll take care of them. <laughs> so this is how it goes. And uh, I got uh, uh, a position in Atna Technologies. They are, as I told, they are very flexible. They'll tell you, tell uh, like like they'll give us uh, flexible timings whenever we want. We can work, but we have to finish all these work whatever is assigned to us. That's how it goes. So uh, they also pushed up like how I can uh, in, uh, I, how I can improve my technical knowledge and how I can be uh, uh, very uh, very unique in every where, wherever I go. So that's how it goes. And uh, I was uh, just like I got my MCT during uh, 2020, 2021, sorry, 2021. So that time I came to know about MVP. So I was searching about it, but I came to know that MVP is not as easy as MCT. MCT is also not easy, okay, so any, but it's not as easy, so we have to dedicate, uh, we have to contribute, we have to be a part of all these things. So speaking in a conference or speaking in front of uh, 200 or 300 audience is not a big deal for me, but speaking about the technology, you no, know, it's, <laughs> so I thought of uh, learning a lot and I uh, just, con uh, I just dedicated most of my time into learning something new and I have learned and finally, you know, like I started to contributing uh, more things and so that is how the journey of a professor and once I got the PhD, once I became a doctorate, you know, I immediately joined an IT company because, <laughs> yeah, so that is how it goes. And uh, I started to implement my machine learning, data analytics, all these stuff into uh, whatever the projects which I can do it. So uh, that is how it, I transformed from a professor to a, a, a technical trainer. <laughs> and now I am heading learning and development team at Adna Technologies. Mm -hmm. So you, you've talked about big data there a bit and machine learning and stuff. And of course, um, you know, a real theme for me personally this year is around artificial intelligence and AI. If, if you could look for 20 years from now, where do you think we will be from a, how much will artificial intelligence be part of our everyday life? Uh, of course, even I think now, even uh, forty percentage of our life is completely into uh, artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning, knowingly or un unknowingly. Uh, in terms of like a percentage, I can tell you, like we'll be into sixty-five to seventy percentage of uh, artificial intelligence will be in our part of life. Even now, you know, everywhere, even in a village, I can see they are using uh, uh, mobile phones, they are using a data card, they are using mo mo uh, Google apps. They started to understand how it really works. So, of course, it will be around 65 to 70 percentage as a data analyst, I can tell. But I'm not sure because, because everything is based on the thing data. And it's uh, everyone uh, are aware of what is happening and what they wanted to learn and how they wanted to become. So I think, yeah, it will be it will start dominating uh, by 20, 20 years later now. Mm -hmm. And. <clears throat> What was so you've become an MVP last year? Tell me what was that journey for you? What did you know? How did you get nominated? What was the process? What area do you specialize in when it comes to you know inside? You're obviously in business applications, and that's a big area. There's about thirty different um, items of software in there. Where, where do you specialize? What what's your core strength in the um, in Dynamics, or is it Power Platform? Oh, uh, yeah, it's really a great question. Actually, you know, when uh, I was uh, searching for MVP, I came to know that some, like, while uh, um, understanding about what is MVP, I came to know that someone has to nominate me, okay? So, I don't know that. We can directly uh, post our achievements and we can get nominated, no? So, someone has to nominate. So, I started looking for various MVPs in uh, LinkedIn. Okay, so that is how it goes. Like, I, I've been asking, like, 
uh, how to become, what is the procedure and what are the contributions which I have to do. So uh, um, my friend who was in North Side, I think he's in Pune. Uh, can I mention his name? He's a Sainishwar. Okay, so he uh, told me that these are all the things which you have to do. So you have to contribute. You have to first choose your specialist, specialized technology. You have to contribute something to that. You should be a part of uh, uh, many community uh, uh, community gathering, community talks. You can provide something. And you should uh, write some blogs to uh, the real-time solutions. So this is, a, uh, this is a long process and it should be a one year of process. Okay. So this is how he explained me. So you have to contribute at least for one year. And though I, I can uh, nominate you, I cannot promise you that definitely you will get uh, you will be awarded. So it's all about how you contribute. So I started searching about many technologies, you know, for Power BI, there are enormous uh, specialists over there. So they are they already uh, written many things about Power BI. I was wondering because Power BI is my spe uh, specialized uh, topic, like uh, data analytics. Oh, so I was very uh, depressed, you know, directly to say, because even anyhow, if I talk about Bobby, the same thing I have to talk. Anyhow, everyone has posted many things. So I was go I was searching for power apps. Oh, God, even for power apps, there are many people. So I was searching for all the technologies, but I know my idea is about business applications. So I was searching for many things. And finally, I came to know when I started learning about a mission, uh, sorry, business analytics. Okay. So when I started uh, learning about this uh, dynamics, business central dynamics 365, I was re really very struggling to uh, search for the tutorials. The tutorials are there from Microsoft, you know, anyhow, the explained tutorials like a video or uh, something was really missing. I, was, I struggled very much in order to learn. So I thought, okay, then let us go with the dynamics because uh, let us learn, let us teach to our, uh, um, because that is my uh, uh, passion, right? So I have to teach something which is really not there. So I saw, even though in Microsoft Dynamics, there are a uh, few people who are uh, explaining, but all are from um, US or UK or something. And I know that in India, a few people cannot understand that slang. So I thought of, okay, let us do this video and let us dedicate ourselves for uh, this Microsoft Dynamics. So I started uh, learning and I started putting videos and blogs and everything. And I got a good reach on that as well. And uh, I informed the uh, signage world that uh, I have contributed this much. So please nominate me. So he, he, he first validated all my contribution. And he said, okay, I'll nominate, but I cannot assure you will surely get it based on uh, uh, the final decision will be from the head. Uh, that is MBP head. Okay, he uh, nominated me and uh, finally, by God's grace, I got <laughs> the MVP award. But it's completely about our contribution, our dedication, and uh, some uniqueness should be there. So we cannot follow the same thing which already told by someone. So we have to show our uniqueness in order to become a MVP. I like it. What do you? What's what's your focus for this year? Um, as in in your career and your personal learning, um, what what? new things are you learning this year okay this year i started learning assure uh, assure uh, completely assure uh, machine learning assure i wanted to understand the concept of assure like how really it works okay so this is my uh, uh, idea about i have to complete assure certifications within this year i have to complete assure machine learning this year so always every year i will just put a uh, little list of like there is a bucket list whatever i should complete within this year so the last year bucket list was to become an mvp which was the first one if you want i can share your share my uh, list to you later through your mail mail okay so uh, this year this is what i have to uh, at least i have to become an intermediate level in assure i have to um teach something on Azure as well. And even in uh, Dynamics, many are asking for a functional uh, consultant to become a... So, so far, I've been uh, just posting on technical consultant. So many are asking, please teach us functional as well so that we'll get some idea about it. So I am just having that in mind. Okay, so this is what uh, this year uh, goal and uh, as uh, official one. So uh, official goal, like what are the things which I have to learn? And I have to dedicate something to the project. Um, to automate something and uh, to um, um, implement machine learning through uh, Azure and also in Power BI. So that is the uh, one level of uh, bucket list which I have. And 
in terms of uh, personal so i should uh, take my kids to a uh, new places at least to two to three new places i have to show them like how those people are uh, uh, doing and how they have to they should learn something new in every every month so that is my next level of uh, uh, bucket list nice that's very very good i'm i'm impressed how <clears throat> you know in in the contributions that you made and what you published are you publishing them in in um as in not in english but in hindi or something like that are you making because when you said that you know all the american and the year and and you know from the uk their slang and stuff it's hard to understand for some people um are you you know doing it in a local language so more and more people can pick it up that will you know understand it quicker because it's not in english as an example uh yeah so uh, i am not very much good in hindi okay so even in tamil a uh, few words you know like exactly if we are transferring business to tamil it will be a different word that everyone cannot correlate so it will be in a very simple english like how um, everyone can understand and it will be like a very pictorial and step by step representation like step 1 what they have to do step 2 what they have to do and how really it will works what are the things which they should not do it will lead to an error or it will not show a proper output so uh, it is not in a uh, uh, in um, or like uh, uh, our language uh, tamil language but it, it, it they can easily understand so that's how it will be so i'm not telling that uh, us lang can't be understand but few people you know like from a village uh, or someone who is coming from very yeah, a little complicated to they they are getting uh, uh, difficulties in understanding that so that's how it goes okay so that is also in my plan that i have to also uh, um, teach them in tamil so i have started power bi in tamil uh, so teach power bi in tamil uh, that that in youtube but you know in the blog i cannot exactly translate so few words while translating the ch- meaning will change from english to tamil so that is why i am just little worried uh, to uh, exactly translating uh, english or tamil so it's also in my mind i'll do that that's that's so good that's so good tell me about um your youtubes what you're doing on youtube because you've got a, a, what well over 4000 people uh follow you on youtube tell me a bit about um your your journey there yeah so uh youtube i have this is not a specific um uh, technology based youtube for example if you will be posting only about a specific technology so this is a generic one because since i have did my research uh, i i struggled in my phd not through my supervisor she is very good my supervisor she is narayani uh, so she is very good she always supports me as i told i'm blessed in everywhere like my personal official everywhere but you know while uh, understanding few things while learning while uh, i i really struggled much so whatever i struggled whatever i learned in research so i'll be posting that to the people who are doing phd who are scholars who are students so that is a one type of playlist which will always every week it will be updated and second playlist will be based on the technology like as i told dynamics 365 business central power bi tableau and research oriented tools data mining tools like knime um statistical tools so all these tools i'll be posting and if it is there a professor because i was a professor so if that if uh, if there are professors though what are the types of uh, flipped learning or uh, some interactive learning they can do for the uh, students so, so what are the websites which are there so because i am also a google certified uh, trainer that is google for education certified trainer so through that i will come to know almost uh, many technology and many websites which uh, the uh, educators from worldwide are using so whatever i know i'll just uh, tell them uh, tell the professors like these are all the websites where they can use it for their students in order to make the class interactive uh, so that will also be there and uh, python so whatever i have in mind whatever i can uh, share my knowledge with everyone so all these things will be posted there <laughs> it's so good it's so good to see that uh <clears throat> you know it's not just focused on one thing but there's a lot of things that obviously take your interest and um there's a lot of content i see there's even content for kids up there um to help them as well and uh yeah so really well done it's been a pleasure having you on the show uh dr gumati thank you and uh i look forward to maybe seeing you at one of the conferences in the future with microsoft Hey, thanks for listening. 
I'm your host, business application MVP, Mark Smith, otherwise known as the NZ365 guy. If you like the show and want to be a supporter, check out buymeacoffee.com forward slash NZ365 guy. Thanks again and see you next time.